Hello, and welcome to WePC. My name's Jack, and today we're going to be taking a look at my Windows 11 optimization guide. This is for anyone looking to optimize Windows, whether it be for just general speed or gaming focused. There will be plenty of tips in this video for both scenarios. Before we get into it, can I please ask that you like and subscribe if I helped you out at all. Cheers, guys. Okay, so first up, let's go ahead and make sure our Windows 11 operating system is up to date. All you need to do is simply navigate to the dock and type Windows Update and select the appropriate option. Once there, you can go ahead and select Check for Updates. Windows will then automatically scour Microsoft's update server for any available updates. Then, all you need to do is wait for Windows Update to download the latest build and restart your PC. You can choose a shutdown state when you go to turn off your PC, selecting either Shutdown or Shutdown and Install Updates. Windows 11 even gives you a handy estimate right there under the option, so you can go and get yourself a brew while it does its thing. <sighs> Lovely. Next up, we need to make sure you have all the necessary drivers installed. To do this, simply navigate to your hardware manufacturer's website to manually select a driver. The most important drivers you will want to get are GPU drivers and chipset drivers. Most of the drivers and BIOS updates are helpful but not completely necessary in 99% of cases. Although it wouldn't hurt to grab the latest audio and network drivers while you're here, would it? If you're unsure of what drivers to get, don't panic, calm down. There are tools from AMD and Nvidia that will auto detect your PC's hardware. These are tools like the Radeon software from AMD and GeForce Experience from Nvidia. Woo! Just download and follow the instructions. Don't worry, it's pretty simple. I trust you, you, you got this. Okay, next, we're gonna look at disabling some unwanted startup apps. Startup apps are exactly what they say on the tin, apps that load on startup obvious. And all this adds to system resource usage and startup load times. We don't want this. No. But don't fret. We're going to show you how to disable all of these greedy resource hogging b****. Firstly, navigate to the Windows 11 icon on the dock. Right click and launch your trusty task manager. Within task manager, click on startup and disable any undesirable apps from launching on startup to safeguard your precious system resources, saving the hassle of going and closing all the apps you don't want running when gaming. You can always re-enable them here if you change your mind later. Okay, we've all done it. Downloaded something we regret deeply, so very deeply. And it might be slowing down your computer, ruining productivity or gaming, or maybe it's annoying and you just want it the off your PC. Fred, no longer. I'm, I'm going to show you how. Move your to uninstall apps. Simply hit the Windows key on your keyboard and type Add or Remove Programs. Then click Add or Remove Programs from the Start menu. This will bring you to an Apps and Features page with a list of all the apps and programs installed on your PC. To uninstall something, simply click on the three dots aligning the right side of the box and click Uninstall. Windows will then uninstall the app or program for you if the app is a third-party app or program, it might ask you to go through some further steps. Now, this doesn't necessarily apply to desktop users, but for laptop users, this could really help you out. We want to make sure that our power plan is set to the maximum performance, so we're not limited in resources by energy conservation features. They're sometimes activated automatically and not always automatically disabled. To change the power plan, all you need to do is simply open your search bar and type edit power plan then click on the edit power plan settings head to power options at the top and choose the power plan that prefers maximum performance the names of your specific power plans may differ slightly however there's usually a max or optimal performance option so windows 10 first released with an inbuilt capture software that's pretty poorly optimized and windows 11 is plagued with i mean also comes with this feature so in true optimization fashion, we're going to take somebody's hard work and disable it completely. To stick it to Microsoft, simply head into the start menu and type captures and select captures settings. This will bring you to the gaming captures option. All you need to do in here is disable record what happened and capture audio when recording a game by flipping the slider from on to 
off. As for the game bar, mm, nope, that's going too. This also has been known to impede performance marginally, but I'd turn it off just to be sure. To do this, go to the gaming capture settings we mentioned earlier and navigate to gaming on the left and turn the Xbox game bar slider from on to off. Simple. Game mode is up next. Game mode promises to improve performance by allocating less system resources to background apps, promising more to the games you're actually playing. Great, love the sound of that. Cheers Microsoft, let's turn it on. To enable game mode, simply press the Windows key on your keyboard and type game mode and select the game mode settings from the start menu. Then slide the game mode slider over to on. Again, simple. Usually in Windows optimization guides, I'd tell you to disable background apps, but you can't, it's gone. Don't ask me where, I bet that goose took No, but seriously, I hope this feature returns as it was a good way to improve performance on systems with lower end hardware. If this feature is reintroduced, I will make a video explaining how to use it in the future. So that about does it guys. There are a lot of things you can do to help improve gaming performance in Windows 11. So we hope that this guide helps you get the perfect frame rates that you deserve. But this optimization guide will also help you in day-to-day -day use of your PC. It isn't necessarily limited to gaming scenarios. Now your Windows 11 installation will be free from the curse of random apps that open on startup or Windows passively capturing video while you're trying to play a game. Please remember to like and subscribe if I helped you out at all, and check out my article over on WePC.com for full in-depth written instructions if you prefer that delivery method. This has been Jack from WePC, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.